For today, high pressure is building into our area and will continue to dominate and influence our area for, for the next week and a half. That low pressure that affected us past few days has moved on over the, to the northern Great, uh, northern Great Plains and it's, and it's moving eastward. So zooming in closer, we don't have any cloud coverage. We don't have any uh, activity going on. So we're going to be mostly sun or completely sunny today with pretty light winds. And our temperatures are still a little cooler than average. Wind forecasted for today will be 5 to 10 sustained continuous wind speed with with uh, areas some regions getting gusts up to 15 or 20 miles per hour in the afternoon temporarily those are temporary wind speeds Te uh, temperatures are a little below average for this time of year 77 Pocatello 76 for Idaho Falls and then for tomorrow we warm up 6 to 10 degrees for our high temperature so that's a rapid warm up for tomorrow and then for the weekend we will then be above average for temperature Southeast Highlands also in the 70s, 78 for Preston and Downey. In the Central Mountains, temperatures in the 70s and 81 degrees is the high for Salmon and Chalice. And then over in the Eastern Highlands, mostly sun, temperatures in the 60s with 70 as the high for Afton and Driggs. Now for the overnight hours, for tonight, conditions are very favorable for a fireworks display as we do have pretty light winds and no activity, no precipitation, no storm is expected, so mostly clear skies, Pocatello 52, Idaho Falls 46. These are the low temperatures, not the temperatures of when the fireworks shows will occur. These are the temperatures that occur right before sunrise, which is the time that is the coldest time of the day, right before sunrise. Southeast Highlands minimum, minimum temperatures will be in the 40s with 50 as the low for Preston and Ancom. And then up in the Central Mountains, we've got temperatures in the 40s as well with Stanley in the 30s at 35 degrees, a low temperature of 35 for Stanley. Eastern Highlands temperatures in the 40s and then after in Yellowstone in the upper half of the 30s. Now here's your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast starting with Pocatello a high temperature of 77 which is below average and then tomorrow warming up about four plus three equals seven about seven degrees uh, rapid warm up and then for Saturday we touch 90 degrees. We do have a weak cold front that's going to move through the area on Saturday and that will keep our high temperature uh, not warming not not being warmer than the day previous for Sunday so Sunday's a little cooler but then starting on Sunday we will have a warming trend we we'll have a warming trend uh, throughout the rest of the forecast period and we get pretty hot we get into the upper 90s 97 on next Wednesday for Blackfoot and we could be talking about triple digits this time next week as well Idaho Falls today has a high of 76 and then tomorrow 82 and then on Saturday 90 so the main theme for the next week here next week and a half really is hot and dry due to that high pressure. The weekend will be the coolest part of the extended forecast and that weak cold front moves through on Saturday bringing little breezy conditions 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained continuous wind speed and then next week that high pressure really dominates really dominates moving over Idaho keeping us very hot so very hot conditions are expected so do take care. Uh, excessive heat warnings or watches can be issued by the National Weather Service during those days. Back to you, Deanne. Right. Thank you, Eric.